Hey Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a really good mood for this video. One, because I really love the way this makeup look turned out. Two, because I'm obsessed with this wig. And three, just because I love this makeup look. This wig is from He Hair. I'll leave the links for this wig in the description box down below. They have given me a discount code. I'll leave that listed on the screen or in the description box down below. This code I don't make commission on, just FYI. Just as a little disclaimer, if you're wondering what codes I do make commission on, it's listed in the description box down below. I have a little asterisk star thing next to the links and the codes in the description box so you guys can clearly tell which ones I do get paid for and which ones I don't get paid for. I really, really hope that you love this makeup look as much as I do. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'd love to have you become part of the glam fam. If you'd like to see how to get this vampy glam, please keep on watching. This is my new obsession. I am always looking for a good lip product to hydrate my lips before I put on a lipstick because my lips do tend to get quite dry. This is amazing. This is Mecca's new brand, Mecca Max. It's the City Slicker Tinted Oil and this is in the shade Rose so this leaves like a pinky tint to your lips. Oh, I just put too much on. Whoops. That just like oozed out of the tube. My bad. Uh oh, I don't want to waste it, so we're just gonna leave it on. See what it does. For the eyes, I actually have something envisioned in my mind today. Usually, I just go into a tutorial and just make it up as I go, but I've got an idea in my noggin. I really don't know how it's gonna turn out, to be honest with you. I kind of got a mixture of cool tones and a lot of warm tones in my mind. We'll just see how it goes. I don't know if it's gonna go with this wig, but you know. Trial and error, folks, trial and error. This is the 35F palette from Beauty Glamour Box. I feel like I never really use a lot of super orangey colors on my eyes. I feel like most of the time it's either Pebbles or purples or brown. So we're gonna be a little bit funky today. I'm going to use this shade here first. This is going to be my transition shade. I'm using my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm buffing this just above my crease so that I can see it when my eyes open because I want the colors that I put directly in my crease to fade into this one. I'm feeling like doing a very warm toned type of halo eye but then with silver in the center. I wouldn't typically choose a silver in the center of a warm toned halo eye but I feel like being a bit different today. I feel like the silver may go with the wig so we're just gonna give her a red hot crack. This is a 228 Lux crease brush from Zoeva. I tried this a long time ago when I received it and I didn't like it. I felt like it kind of pricked my eye. I do want to try it out again because it is a really pretty brush. I'm going along to the next orange shade to this one here. This color is also going in my crease but I'm going to blend it a little bit lower than the first shade and I'm taking that all the way into the inner part of my eye as well. Okay this brush actually isn't spiky at all. It actually used to like really hurt me when I first got it but it feels really nice now. I suppose I never really wore it in when I first got it. It. Sometimes you need to use brushes a few times for them to kind of get all comfortable in your eyeball. I'm so sorry for judging you. Do you forgive me? Please do. I'm going into this orange shade here. So this is probably the darkest orange out of the palette. That's a matte. I'm using my Sigma Blending A25 and now I'm going to start to make the halo. So I'm putting this on the inner third and the outer third of my eyeball. After the color is packed on, I'm going to buff whatever's left on the brush into the crease shades. Those orange shades are all very similar in depth. So I'm now going to go in with the black just to help darken up the inner and outer corner. I'm using the same E25 and I'm just going to start building it up gradually. I want to place the color on my actual lid first. You don't want to place it in your crease because then you're going to blend it up too high. I'm taking a clean blending brush. It doesn't matter which one it is just to help blend the black into the crease. I'm using a clean brush because if you use the brush that has the black on it, the black's going to get blended up too high and then it will start to look very muddy and then do the exact same thing with the inner third. Because I am using silver, I want there to be quite a big contrast between the darkness and the silver in the center of the eye. So I'm just going in with a second layer of the black to help intensify it a little bit more. The black from this palette is really pigmented which is why I am building it up. When I pictured this look in my mind I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this dark but we are here now and I feel like this is what happens every time I do my makeup. For the center of the eye before I put down my pigment I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. I love using this before any shimmery eyeshadow or a pigment just because I feel like it makes it pop that little bit more and because it is a pigment it's going to help prevent fallout on my face. It's going to really make it stay there. I'm using a Sigma Concealer F70 brush and I'm only putting this on the center. I'm not taking the glue out as far as I want the pigment to be because then it's going to be a harsh line. I feel like if I have a sticky base where I want to blend then it just turns into like a straight line and a hot mess. If you leave a little gap of nothing I feel like it works out a lot better. This pigment here is from Danessa Myricks. It's the metals pigment and this is in the shade Supreme so it's a really intense silver. Because this does have a stopper in it I can't fit that big brush in there and I don't want to pull this out because it's going to get so messy. I'm actually going to spot my brush. This is the E46 from Sigma so this is basically like a very very thin 
thin, very thin concealer brush. Vanessa Marks honestly has the best products. If you haven't tried anything from her line, I really recommend that you do because they are honestly just amazing. I want to match my wig to my lower lash line just so things are a little more cohesive because obviously we've got the bright orange in the crease, the black, the silver, and I currently feel like a pumpkin. <laughs> this is the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencil in the shade Grapevine. You guys know I love the Marc Jacobs Highliner Pencils. I think if you want to invest in a really good quality eyeliner, definitely splurge on the Marc Jacobs ones. I know they're not the most affordable eyeliners in the world, but they do last. You do not need a lot of it because they're so pigmented and they're so creamy. They don't irritate your eyes. I think that this purple shade has actually got to be my favorite out of all of the highliner colors, just because it's such a beautiful shade. Like it's a pure, deep purple. I feel like it's really hard to get a nice, pure, deep purple eyeliner. And another thing that I really like about these is that they're retractable because then you won't have to sharpen the pencil and it won't get so small that it's hard to grip onto and use. That's like my biggest pet hate when it comes to sharpening makeup pencils and stuff. It just annoys me when it's so small that you can barely grip onto it. So usually I throw it out when it gets to that point because I just can't be bothered anymore. And I feel like I have a bit of OCD when one pencil is shorter than another pencil. I'm just like, oh God, I don't like it. It makes me feel all kinds of ways. This is a new palette from Sigma. I'm pretty sure it's limited edition, but it is such a nice palette. Such a cute little collection. It comes with two lipsticks as well. I'm going to use the shade Elderberry, which is a really deep purple. It's actually pretty much identical to the eyeliner. So I'm going to use this shade to buff out my lower lash line. I'm using my small tapered blending E45 from Sigma. I'm dragging up the lower lash line to connect with the outer V of the black on the top of my eye. I was going to spotlight the lower lash line with the same silver pigment, but I've decided not to because I kind of like the way this looks at the moment. This is the Mecca Max Eye Max Power Couple Mascara. I really like this one. I'm using the end that has the small brush. This end has a bigger brush. I just really like the smaller end because I feel like it really gets every individual lash and really separates them and it doesn't make them clumpy either which is what I really like. I'm putting on false lashes so I don't want to put a lot of mascara on the top because I don't want to take away from the style of the eyelashes. I'm just making them black so that they blend together and then also coating my lower lashes. I'm using these lashes from the brand Klux Lashes. This is a Perth brand so all you Perth girls and boys out there support your local. These are in the style Mimi. They're just very nice nice wispy lashes. They're more on the natural side compared to other false lashes I normally wear. I don't really want to cover up the spotlight of the eye which is why I've chosen these ones. The lashes are now on my eyeballs and I really like them. They're so pretty and wispy. I've spoken about this bronzer in my past few videos because I'm absolutely in love with it. It's my current favorite bronzer. This is also from the brand Mecca Max and this is the Sunlit Skin Bronzer in the shade Medium. I'm using a number two brush from the BH Cosmetics Marble Peach Brush Collection. I'm just going to start to bronze up my face. I don't want to do too much of a harsh contour because my eyes are quite full on and my lip is gonna be full on. You just wait, it's gonna be full on. I've already picked it out. Usually I buff my bronzer in, but today I feel like pressing it in just to see if it will make a difference. I feel like changing up my techniques because I do kind of stick to the same ones. I'm going back into the Wildflower palette from Sigma because I really want to try the blush. This is in the shade Peony, Peony. Peony. I can never pronounce that name. Peony. I'm using the blush brush from Sigma. Whew. This blush is very pigmented. I put way too much on, but that's okay. I'm already looking like a clown. It's a beautiful color. I really like it. For my highlight, I'm taking this palette from Clara Cosmetics. This is the Naked Truth palette, and I'm going to be using the Shimmer Highlight, which is the middle shade. I'm using a Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush, and look how bright that highlight is. On my lips, I have used this colour before, you guys have seen it heaps of times on my Instagram. That's because I love it and I was going to go for nude, but now that the lower lash line is purple, I feel like going back to the old Jess days and doing very dark, very vampy, very over the top and very dramatic. This is probably a little bit more purple than the hair. The hair is more like a blue purple. I still think it will look pretty cool. This is from Winky Lux. This is the Double Matte Whip Liquid Lip. It's a long name, but this is in the shade Whoopie Pie. I really love the shape of the applicator on these liquid lipsticks. I find it really easy to get such a clean line. The applicator is a lot thinner, which is why I think I like it so much. Usually with darker colors like this, I'm finding myself having to use a lip brush to clean up or some concealer, but with this applicator, I don't need to do that. I have like half a lip on right now, so you probably can't take me seriously, but I do have a full video on how I apply a liquid lipstick. It's an in-depth tutorial, so I'll leave that listed in the description box down below if you want to check it out. I'm actually so happy with how this makeup look turned out. It's completely different to what I had in my mind, but I really love it. I really hope that you like this makeup look too 
too and if you have any more video requests or anything you would like me to film let me know in the comments down below also I do create a lot of different type of makeup looks a lot of more softer makeup looks on my clients my Facebook page is listed in the description box down below so you're welcome to look through my client photos and if there is any makeup look that you want me to recreate on myself and show you how to do it please let me know and I can do that for you give my Facebook page a like while you're at it if you are in Perth and you are wanting me to do your makeup you can contact me through that Facebook page or you can contact me via email that's all listed in the description box down below please follow me on Instagram and snapchat if you're not already I'd love to have you there I'm gonna stop talking now and go take some photos of this makeup because I love it so I'll see you in my next video bye